Take one, the ink spot. Like I said, it's no music, no life. It's the, I think it's the blood of life. It's the soul of life. This is The Ink Spot. Brought to you by Music Ink Studios, San Jose. stars we are going to be checking out drunken starfighter Starfighter. How's it going, guy? Boys. Crack in, brother. <laughs> you guys are boys. What are you guys up to? Uh, we're grown-ass men. Thank you. I'm sorry. We're grown-ass <laughs> men here. How you guys doing? We're doing good, brother. Right on. What's your names, and what do you play in the band? I'm Daniel. I play bass. You play the bass, and then... Willis Mecca. I sing and play rhythm guitar. Sing and play rhythm guitar? Yes, sir. All right. And the name of the band is Drunken Starfighter, right? Uh, right. How did you guys come up with that name? That game that comes from the video game uh, Starfighter, Star Wars Starfighter, that was on PlayStation One, and day drinking as, in my early twenties and trying to play that game and master that game and my brother. And it's so indelible that you decided to start a band with the name. Yeah, because it was the weirdest insult anybody's ever thrown at me. Just called you drunken Starfighter. Yeah, that's You're a drunken ass Starfighter. You drunken Starfighter. You can't play this game. I'm like, ah. How long you been playing guitar? Oh, God. I don't even want to say. Too long. Too long? I should be a lot better than I really am. Yeah. And what, what about you? How long have you been playing bass? 35 uh, years. 35 years? You don't look a day over 22. I, I, I would have to literally do the math. Like, I'd have to pull out a chalkboard and fucking crunch some numbers. No, no, no. Don't you walk away, young man. You get over here. Introduce okay. yourself and tell them what you do in the band. Uh, my name is Dean DeCastro. I am the drummer here for Drunken Starfighter. Uh, I, uh, I, got, I, I started doing music 30 years ago when I was 13. God damn. Uh, I'm now 43, young 43. Yeah. Young 43. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, music is fucking... Important. It's release. It's, uh, it's uh, finding... It's centering 
It's uh, church. Uh, it's, 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 I don't know. It's, 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 it's yeah. over. Yeah, it is church actually. You know, it's a good, it's a good way of putting it. Amen. But yeah, man. Um, God, family. Uh, my family's all my. My grandfather played um, bass, guitar, uh, guitar, drums, That's piano. My mom's yeah. a jazz singer. My brother actually inside. He's a piano player. Yeah, let's oh really? Go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, come on in. Let's go check out the studio. Go ahead, man. Here's the other one. All right. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Appreciate the mask because I don't want to catch anything. <laughs> I'm wearing a condom right now just in case. Right. Yeah. So that's my brother over there. Adrian, come here. This is my youngest brother. All right. Piano player, singer. You guys Filipino or something? Yeah. Yeah. Talaga? How did you yeah. guess? How did you guess? Uh, well, no, no shit. My, my father is Filipino as well. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Talaga, pare. So where's the adobo? Oh, at home, baby. Oh, always, always, shit. always, always. So how long have you been playing keyboards for? Um, I started there. I started when I was like 25. What got you into it? Oh, oh, right you. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. No shit. Heartbreak. Turn it into something positive. What's the first song you could play on the keyboard? Uh, it was like some, no, it was like some Bob Marley something. Oh, really? So yeah. reggae right off the bat? Yeah, yeah. It was it wasn't chopsticks? No, I mean, I tried to kind of... You play a guitar. Guitar. And uh, how long have you been playing guitar for? Hey, I'm, I was... You get up here, so you... <laughs> Tall guy, man. <laughs> Since I was about 16 and I'm 30, almost 39 now. Okay, that's cool. And what was the first song you ever learned how to play? Uh, Teen Spirit, Nirvana. Oh, no Ooh, shit. Good one. Is that your inspiration for it? No. All right, what got you into it? Uh, my first love for music came when I was probably six or seven. I used to go to my dad's, my dad's band practice. They would just bring me there. And Musical family? Listened. Yeah, what was great. the name of your dad's band? Uh, Sunburst Band. He, they play classic rock. Oh, he's yeah. an amazing Sunburst guitarist. Band. Is he still around? Oh, yeah. All right. So give him a shout-out. What's up, Dad? Let's go rock. Boy, be proud. Rock. And what was the first song that you ever, like, fell in love with? Because we go from listening uh, to music to playing it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably, honestly, probably something with Stevie Ray Vaughan. Okay. Um... Because I love the blues. I got that from my dad. He's a great blues guitarist. Especially with that classic so, rock stuff. Yeah. Right on. And um, you, what got you into wanting to sing? Me? Yeah. Um, How did that happen? Um, it was mostly just really coincidental because I had friends that played guitar when I was young. So you needed to do it to They fill needed in. a singer. Right. They're just like, sing the song. And I'd be like, okay. Blah, blah, blah. And, and I just kind of... Yeah, and I started singing like, probably like... Freaking Aerosmith and like uh, Bob Marley and like yeah, dude, like oh just whatever, whatever they were, were, were we were playing, you know, just in the backyard, basically. Is there a is there a reggae version of any Aerosmith songs you've ever done? No. Why not? Because I'm not that much of a fan. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Our friend Casey is a big fan, but yeah, no, I'm not a big fan. All right. So you guys got a show coming up, right? Yeah. Well, yes. we, we've read about Mansi's sister. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> so, how long have you been playing the tambourine? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Singer. Is she? I don't know. See, this is why I do this. So that everybody. There's three, there's three lead singers. Okay. Willis, Fancy, and Adrian are all lead singers. They switch off. Okay. All right. He went to the bathroom, I think, so he'll be back. So tell, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your path. Same questions. My path? Yeah. Like, when did you start knowing that you wanted to be involved in music in the capacity that you are? Oh, uh, when I was in China, I think. Yeah. In China? Yeah. Oh, Nihao. Yeah, Nihao. <laughs> then, uh, what is he invited me to this band? And before that, I didn't know anything about reggae, so... Oh, really? Yeah. I and now what do you think? Anything. And I was, I was saying, like, oh, no, I, I, I can't. I don't know anything about reggae. And he said, you can do it. Then now I'm here. <laughs> wow. What, what kind of music did you listen to? Mm -hmm. uh, you, I'm guessing you're from China, right? Yeah. Okay, so what kind of music did you listen to when you were there? Normally, like... Uh, uh, Chinese music, right? Oh, really? And uh, pop music, and uh, Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey, Michael Jackson, and, uh, Mariah Carey. Um, jazz, and uh, bossa nova, something like that. Oh, cool. What what kind of Chinese artists did you listen to? Are they, they have different genres in China, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you listen to there? I mean, like the genre wise. Um. Oh my God, it's a hard question. <laughs> I listen to everything. Everything. Yeah. Who can you suggest if an American person or anybody else who doesn't know Chinese music as well as you do, who would you suggest they go and listen to? Tia. 
Tia? No? <laughs> New generation? Maybe Tia? Okay, she's, spell it. I don't know. I don't know. Tia, she is, uh, she's from Chinese, uh, China, uh, America. Uh, no, no, no. She's not American. I don't know. Uh, uh, Chinese. Uh, no, no. The voice of China. She's the voice of China? Mm -hmm. yeah. One of. One of. Oh, wow. That's she's, the younger, she's the younger generation. The younger yeah. generation. Yeah, yeah. So it's pop, kind of? Uh, more like, no, not hip hop. It's a soul and the soul, jazz. Soul, yeah. soul and jazz. Yeah. Wow. And so, does she play an instrument? No. No. Just, just sing. A little bit guitar, I think. Okay. I guess. Yeah, what's yeah, the yeah. What's the Chinese like main main instrument? Like, I don't know how to ask this question. There are instruments that come from different countries. Like the banjo actually comes from Africa. We really? Yes, dude. They used to play the banjo using gourds, and they would tie it all up, and then it evolved into what it is today. But it's from I, Africa. I think, I think actually, like, honestly, a lot of the traditional Japanese in, uh, like uh, instruments that you hear originated in China, just a different iteration of them. Interesting. And a different name for them. I don't okay. know what's the name called. How do how, how they call it in the, English? Like, uh, Where's Mongolia? That's in China, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so have you heard of the who? The Mongolia? Yeah, 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 sure. yeah. Oh, we, 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 uh, yeah. Oh God, I love them, right? Very good. I love those guys. So th those are some uh, traditional instruments, yeah? Do you play any of those? No, I don't. Just the tambourine? I play harmonica. You play harmonica? But I can't play harmonica while I'm singing. <laughs> oh, well. You don't have the little neck thing to put it on there and make it happen? I'm not that good. Oh, well. Well, one day, maybe you'll be in a band someday. Uh -huh. All right. So, gentlemen, um, you guys got this show coming up on Saturday at the Art yes. Boutique in San Jose, right? Yes, sir. Two different bands, right? Yep. Uh, Who's the other band? Tail Light. Tail Light and Drunken Starfighter. Yep. What time you guys go on? I think it starts at 8. I believe those are open at 8. Doors open right. at 8. Tail Light's at 8.30 and we're at 9.30. Doesn't that sound like the end of the show? Tail Light's at 8.30. Right. Right? Everybody's leaving. We're done. Yeah, right. what, what kind of music is Tail Light? Same, same style? Uh, just kind of like weird rock type stuff. Weird rock. I love it. I love <laughs> it. All right. I think I'm going to try to make it to your show so I can see what's going on. Come through. Come through. Everybody should go check it out. I hear some good things about Art Boutique. Oh, you know, I've never uh, been. I look, looks, looks interesting. I looked it up online. It's a family-owned business. Excited. It's a dad and two sons that run it. Okay. Yeah, it's a really cool place. Good deal. But you guys rehearse here at Music Inc. Studios, right? Yes, we do. And what do you what do you what do you say about our place here? Oh man, I love it's it. Love it. You guys been here for a while, haven't you? Yeah. How long have you been here, Willis? Willis. Ten years. How long have you been here, Willis? Fifteen years. Oh, oh my oh, God. God. Wow. Since it started. <laughs> Since it started. Well, that's it's been it's been twelve years. Twelve years. You were here for the fire. Yes. Did you lose anything? We did not. We were in this room. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. I was scared because I saw the headlines before. <laughs> That's how I found out. There was a head. This place caught on fire. Oh yeah. And I saw the headline, and it said rehearsals studio Music Inc on fire. Uh, this truck just like slammed into a pipeline and set the whole thing. Wow. Apart. So people Insane. were taking their equipment. Wow. Like in a, uh, like taking their equipment out, and I saw the headline, and I came straight here. Our room was fine. Yeah. Nothing in blessing, here. Blessing. Even even when the uh, front rooms were on fire, the fire department, from what I understand, if you go and listen to the first episode of the podcast, you'll hear Brian say that they were actually covering up the gear with tarps to keep them from getting wet. So somebody in the San Jose Fire Department is owed a big fat thank you. And I'm glad that your gear didn't get destroyed. And I'm glad that you're still here. That's great because Brian said the people that we didn't like, we didn't ask back. So if you're here, there's a reason. <laughs> You're a good guy, man. You. You're welcome. Yeah. So everybody's got musical talent. Everybody's got a background. I think that's fascinating. Thank I'm going to let you guys go because I know your rehearsal is over, but um, let's do this again. You guys down? Yeah. yeah. Sure. All yeah. right. Sure. So say goodbye to everybody. Peace. Good night. Bye.
concludes the Ink Spot. Brought to you by Music Ink Studios, San Jose.